Hey everybody, what's going on? Joe Kalis here from JoeKalis.com, providing impactful perspective, and just wanted to come to you. I actually recently saw someone promoting a product that I was not familiar with, and um, it's, a, it's a cloud hosting service. You guys are probably familiar with Dropbox. Uh, pretty much the whole world is using Dropbox or Google Drive, um, but I heard about another one called Copy. Uh, simple name and um, simple concept, and uh, just wanted to go through a little bit of the differences. I was actually curious. I saw this yesterday. I was like, what is the difference? Why is it any better than Dropbox? I've been using that for three years. Why should I change? So uh, hopefully I'll, uh, I can just run through this in about five minutes. Just going to go through some of the differences. I actually, uh, as most of you know, I made a spreadsheet to uh, chart the differences just so I could see and understand um, if there was anything plus or minus. So here we go. Um, so Dropbox, you guys are familiar. I personally have been a Dropbox user for three years. I was in my account, and I just saw this. Um, I signed up three years ago, as you can see here. Um, in those three years, I've earned, uh, you can earn referrals. I'll go over that in a second, the comparison between the three services. I've earned 3.25 gigabytes plus my original, whatever they started me off with, I don't even know, um, for a grand total of uh, 5.25 gigs right now. So... I have personally run into an issue where I'm going over my limit because obviously cloud hosting is amazing. You can share things between your computers, your phone, your tablets, um, multiple devices. And uh, some of the services have a uh, maximum amount of devices, but I don't know. I, don't, I haven't run into that. But basically, um, I've used this to save files and share files and all that kind of thing. So Dropbox has been awesome. Google Drive I also use for different purposes, and uh, I'll go over that. But Two cool things, and uh, and then there was this copy program that came out of nowhere. So, uh, going to my little comparison chart here, um, Dropbox starts you off. Um, it's a free account, and uh, you can do it with two megabytes uh, or two gigabytes. Sorry, that's a typo. <laughs> two megabytes isn't that much. Uh, it's two gigabytes of storage for Dropbox, um, which was why I was perplexed when I saw Copy come across with 15 gigabytes for free. So you can see it's highlighted here uh, in green because that is obviously the winner. I read a little bit about the history of the company, and they are basically just mirroring what Google has done. Google actually combined their Gmail, uh, their Google Docs, and everything together into what they call now Google Drive. Um, so you can share files and be collaborative, and that's one of the things that Google Drive uh, can only do, which uh, I'll go over that in a second. But moral of the story, free accounts for all of these, but there's a storage limit of 2 gigs versus 15. Uh, so right off the bat, I was like, ooh, that's cool. So... Furthermore, I saw there was a 5 gigabyte referral bonus, which I was familiar with only 500 megabytes, and that is not a typo. It's Dropbox's referral amount, which is great. It's, it's, I'm thankful for it. Anytime someone I can refer to Dropbox, I get an extra 500 megs, so that's cool. Uh, that's how I've gotten up to 5.25 gigs. But right off the bat, I, um, the, the, referral, the person who is giving the referral and receiving the referral both get 5 gigabytes of space. So right off the bat, I set up an account through this guy I saw it from, and I got 20 gigs of storage, which is four times the amount, uh, almost four times the amount of what I had in Dropbox after three years of referrals. So that was pretty cool. Secondarily, uh, there was a tweet bonus. So if you tweet out about this new app called Copy, and they provided it for you, all you had to do was click a button and send it out on your Twitter feed, um, you get an extra two. So I have 22 gigs of storage right off the bat without referring anyone. Uh, versus the 15 from Google Drive, so obviously it's more space, different functionality a little bit here, but uh, at the surface, copy was smoke and Dropbox in my mind. So uh, I was looking through and seeing the different levels of service. If you go about, if you have a lot of space needs, you can uh, go to Dropbox and go to 100, 200, 500 gigs. Copy levels are 250, 500, 1000, and you can pay a certain amount. You know, obviously 250 gigs versus 100 for 10 bucks a month. So you can see from this. That copy is basically, um, as, as far as uh, storage goes, is smoking them. So I was wondering, you know, how is the usability? How is, uh, does it have a mobile app? I downloaded the mobile app on my iPhone. I have an iPhone. Um, all of these, actually, you can see here, they all support iOS and Android. So it's a wash there, um, which is the most uh, common ones. Dropbox does support BlackBerry, so that's really only one advantage. <laughs> but uh, who really uses BlackBerry anymore? Sorry if I offended any of you listening that use BlackBerry, but get a new phone. Anyways, um, there is a max referral with Dropbox of 16 gigs. So you get 500, so that theoretically means you can only refer 32 people, and then they cap you off. Right now, as far as uh, copy is concerned, uh, while they're launching, there is no referral max. So you can... Um, 
refer as many people as you want. So I have 22. I've referred three people, so I get 15 more gigs. I have 37 gigs of space, cloud hosting storage, and uh, it's pretty awesome. The, the usability has been just about the same. You can see here on my uh, desktop I have my Google Drive synced, my, um, my Dropbox synced, and then I also have my copy synced. So I click on that, and um, you can open your folders and stuff like that. But I have all the folders on my desktop. So you can actually use it. You can mount it as a drive on your computer with all of these the same way. It just looks like a directory, just like everything else on your computer. All the same thing. So here's my Dropbox I've been having for three years. Uh, here's my copy folder, which I don't have anything in yet. I'm about to move everything over from Google or um, Dropbox. I was just kind of testing it out. Um, usability is the same. The web uh, interface, pretty cool. So here's Google Drive, obviously. Um, five gigs of space of storage on Google Drive. Um, if you sign up new, you get 15 gigs, so I think I'm grandfathered into an old plan or something like that, so lucky me. Um, but yeah, Drive is pretty cool. I prefer using Google Drive for collaboration. You can create a new um, document, a spreadsheet, and you can real-time change it with somebody else. You can share it with as many people as you want up here, and then you can collaborate and use the same file. It works really good at work. It works really good for business teams where you're, where you're working and collaborating, brainstorming ideas. Um, so that's why I will not get rid of Google Drive. However, I am probably getting rid of my Dropbox because of the functionality is the same as far as I see it. The security, um, everything like that, the storage is just way huger. Huger? That's not a word. But it's way bigger on copy. And I already have 37 gigs of space, and I will not run into issues with um, overfilling that. So here's my copy back office or whatever. I have 22 gigs of referral uh, space plus the original 15 that I signed up with, so pretty awesome. Um, I don't really see a difference in the functionality, so there's really no reason for me to stay with Dropbox, and I'm kind of curious or concerned for Dropbox for that matter because they've been awesome to me over the years, but um, I'm definitely more a fan of copy right now for space purposes and the referral bonuses and everything like that. So if you have a need to uh, have more than three, four, five gigs of space, you know, with music or pictures or whatever, um, I would definitely suggest switching over to copy, at least giving it a test drive, seeing if it's uh, a good fit. I definitely have. I have it on my phone and I'm using it. Uh, it seems to work just the same functionally. So really no difference there, just a lot more space, and it's also free. So pretty cool stuff. I'm curious to see what Dropbox comes back with in the near future to combat this. I'm sure they're not going to just lay down uh, to this. But in the meantime, while copy is ramping up and getting more clients, I am glad to take the extra space until they, uh, before they change the rules and don't allow so much referral. I, I imagine they'd have to, you know, this is a limited time thing, um, and the website does reference that. I don't know if it's actually going to end or if they're just saying that to, uh, to you know, make you want to do it quicker. But uh, if you want to go to a link, uh, you get five gigabytes of extra space from my referral link. So it's joecalis.com slash copy. Pretty simple. joecalis.com slash copy. And um, you can click on that link, sign up your account, and you'll start off with um, 20 gigs. And then if you tweet that out, it'll make it 22. And then any, anyone you refer to from there, you get extra bonus uh, storage as well. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to put this in a blog post. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment in the, um, in the YouTube video or the blog post or send me an email, whatever, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> and uh, hope you guys enjoy that. Check out Copy and um, enjoy the ride. Thank you.